If you are interested in creating animated, partially transparent overlays for iMovie, then this video is for you. These overlays can be animated images or graphics objects, and even the transparency itself can be animated. It's easy to create green screen overlays using Keynote. I even have another video that shows you how. The problem is, iMovie cannot combine green screen with picture in picture, and it does not allow objects or images to be partially transparent. On the other hand, it's easy to use Keynote to create PNG images that are partially transparent, but PNGs are still images only, so you can't do animation other than primitive iMovie keyframing. In this video, I'll show you how to create videos that have an alpha channel, or pixel by pixel transparency, like this image that was masked with Keynote's instant alpha feature and irised in. This same animation can be overlaid using picture in picture for custom positioning and keyframe animation. Let's start from the beginning and create a new keynote slide. We'll get rid of the title text that comes in by default. Next, we'll drag our image onto the slide from the desktop. I took this picture through a binoculars with my iPhone, creating a circular image surrounded by black. Let's make the image larger so it covers more of the full slide frame. Now we'll zoom out so we can see the full slide. The easiest way to do that is zoom to fit. Let's set the slide background to a lighter color like yellow so we can see how we are making the image background transparent. We can't see that if we have black on black. We'll click on the image to select it and then go to the image tab where Instant Alpha is located. As we drag the Instant Alpha cursor over the black background, we can see how we are selecting various shades of black that make up the background. Looks like this will mask out a little bit of our image near the bottom where the picture is black, but that's no big deal. That's close enough. I think we are done with Instant Alpha. Now we change the background color to None. This is a signal to Keynote to make all the pixels of our slide that have nothing on them completely transparent. Let's add some animation to the image. We'll start by selecting the image. Iris is a classic image transition. Let's use that. Let's stretch the image a bit more to use more of the frame. For our build-out animation, we'll use Crumble. That looks pretty cool with images. Time to create our iMovie overlay. We'll export to Movie. Let's zero out any animation delays. This is the key. ProRes is under Custom Resolution, and we want the 4444 version, which has the full alpha channel. We'll save it to the desktop, where it'll be easy to drag and drop into iMovie. We'll drag an iMovie background to the timeline because they are convenient, but we could have used a video clip. Then we drag our overlay on top of the background. Next, we'll trim any pauses from the front and back end of the ProRes clip so we have clean animation. Let's play it back to see what we've got. iMovie defaults to Cutaway, which fills the screen. Now we'll duplicate the clip in the timeline to see how picture in picture looks. We have to change the overlay type to picture-in-picture. Picture. We want to fit the clip to the full frame. When we do that, iMovie conforms the aspect ratio of the picture-in-picture picture frame to that of the overlay clip. Just for grins, we'll throw in a simple keyframe animation that makes the animated image drift across the screen. We'll add a keyframe in the lower left corner. Then drag the frame to the upper right corner. Playing back this segment, we have an animated frame that floats diagonally across the screen. If we have a look at this clip we created using the inspector on the desktop, we can see indeed it is ProRes 4444. It is 13 seconds in length. The resolution is 1024 by 768, though we could have selected anything we wanted. It might be a bit surprising that the clip is 116 megabytes. But these 4-channel ProRes files are not compressed, so be sure to delete them after you've imported them to iMovie, and they are safe within your library there. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful, 
please click like, subscribe, or leave a comment below.